Hey guys, it is April from Getting Hooker With It. Today I have a little book haul for you. So this is part one of my March book haul. I'm going to say part one because Lord knows I'll probably go out and get more books. So yes, I have a few here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight books that I want to share with you. And these range from thrillers to horror to some children's lit, historical fiction. It's all here. I'm excited about all of them. So let's get into it. The first book I want to share with you is Amy Tan Saving Fish from Drowning. I've been pretty good at collecting a lot of Amy Tan stuff. So this was one that was missing and I saw it at a library sale. So I snatched it up right away. This follows a woman named Bibi Chen and she's planned this journey of the senses for 11 people. Now this is an interesting kind of perspective because Bibi dies and from heaven she is watching the travelers make their journey. Apparently on Christmas morning the tourists cruise across a misty lake and disappear. So it sounds really interesting. This is part mystery, part romance apparently, um, so I am very eager for this one. I've been on the hunt for this next one for a very long time and I finally found Between Shades of Grey by Rudis Pettis. Now you guys know me and I don't really enjoy YA. It's just something that I, I seem to struggle every time I pick one up, or almost every time. But I have heard that R Ruta Sepetis is wonderful if you like historical fiction. So this is a World War II story about the Soviet police coming into this young girl's home. She lives in Lithuania and she's taken to Siberia and I think there's some sort of camp that she's put in there. I don't know if it's a concentration camp or anything. Uh, I Oh, apparently it's a prison camp. Um, I know nothing about that storyline. I don't know what happened in history at all. In Lithuania or Siberia, I know nothing. So I'm really eager to read this. It's always nice with historical fiction when you can get a kind of glimpse at history um, and learn it through through fiction. I really enjoy that. So I'm very, very happy that I found this and in amazing condition too. So yay. I got another Amy Tan here. Uh, this is the Valley of Amazement. Now I have hauled this before. Uh, I'm going to be letting go of that copy because that was like a mass market paperback thing. And I don't really like those sizes. This is a beautiful hardcover. I'm so happy. And this is a mother-daughter tale. Amy Tan is freaking amazing at mother and daughter tales. I've only read The Joy Luck Club, but I, I was blown away. And in this book, we kind of go back and forth in time. We follow Violet in 1912 in Shanghai. She's forced to become a virgin courtesan. And then we go back to 1897 and follow Violet's mother, Lucia, and her path. I, I'm so excited for this. It sounds absolutely wonderful, and I'm so glad I have a really nice copy now. This next one was a steal for the cover, and I've been wanting to read this for a while. This is Watership Down by Richard Adams. This is obviously a classic. Uh, I find it strange that this could be a children's book and even the librarian when I was there picking this up, uh, she was saying that, you know, it is strange that it's a children's classic, um, but essentially we're following rabbits in a warren and uh, they're the main characters. There is one rabbit that's saying that um, there's going to be this great danger that's going to befall the warren and he's trying to warn everyone but no one will listen. So I am in love with this cover. I just think it's the most beautiful thing in the world. So the next four are books that I received from publishers. I am thrilled to bits with all of these. The first one I've already read and that is Tangerine. I received this from HarperCollins Canada and I really enjoyed this. I'm gonna do a whole separate review of this. 
uh, but I enjoyed it so much. This feels very Daphne du Maurier-esque. It's honestly like if Rebecca met You by Carolyn Kepnes, or I'm thinking of ending things. It's just got that creepy vibe. And this we're following two women. Our main character is Alice. She's moved to Tangier with her husband. And one day uh, she has a knock at the door and it's her old friend Lucy. And Lucy and her had quite a falling out. Uh, and you discover what that falling out was all about in this book. And then there's also another mystery that happens at Tangier that you're trying to get to the bottom of. It was so atmospheric. I loved it. I also received another book from HarperCollins Canada and this one is The Cabin at the End of the World by Paul Tremblay. This one is coming out in June and I'm going to read it before that because I'm so excited about it. This is about a little girl named Wen. Uh, she's playing outside and this man comes up to her and he starts talking to her and he seems relatively nice. And then he says to her, none of what's going to happen is your fault. Suddenly, three more strangers come out of basically nowhere. She runs into the house to warn her parents and they say, your dads won't let us in when, but they have to. We need your help to save the world. And I think this is some sort of kidnapping or something along those lines. They're stuck with these people, like doomsday people. Like, is this a cult? I don't know. It sounds really creepy though. And Paul Tremblay is a masterful, masterful storyteller. I love him. So, hooray. The next two are from Penguin Random House Canada. I asked for Unbury Carol by Josh Mallerman. You know how much I loved Word Box. It's still my favorite horror book of all time. Uh, Unburg Carol is coming out on uh, April 10th and this is a kind of Sleeping Beauty retelling where um, this woman Carol uh, dies and when she dies she actually ends up coming back to life and her husband I think she's had several husbands but her like most recent husband decides that the next time that she dies he's going to bury her alive essentially because she's going to come back and so she wakes up in a coffin what in the world would you do if that was you and we follow her tail in a coffin hopefully trying to get out i am totally claustrophobic so this is like one of my worst nightmares i can sometimes get claustrophobic when i'm folding clothes like my skin feels like it needs air so this I think is going to really affect me and Josh Mallerman can tell a story um, that's so different and yeah he just thinks up these horror stories that I never would have imagined and uh, yeah brilliant mind the last book is something I received from Penguin Random House Canada it's Let Me Lie by Claire McIntosh. This came to me in this like adorable little box and in it it had like popcorn and some snacks and then Claire McIntosh's book. I did not ask for this to be sent to me but I was so happy when it was sent. I love a good thriller. And in this book we're following this woman who's become a mother and uh, I think the process of becoming a mother has made her really start to wonder why her parents killed themselves. So I, I guess a few years before when she was young, her both of her parents killed themselves. And now that she's a mom, I think she's starting to realize how odd that is, that both of them wouldn't abandon her. And she starts digging into what in the world actually happened. Did they actually commit suicide or is there something more sinister in play here? So this one is coming out on March 13th um, and yeah, it looks really fun. So those are the latest books that I have received or have bought myself and I'm very excited about all of them. Let me know if you guys have read any of these books or if you're excited about any of these books because some of these books are coming out later. Um, 
yeah, I'd love to know your thoughts on them. And I will talk to you next time. Bye, guys.